Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's episode, I'm going to do a review on tools. We all love tools and there's a company named Foamworks uh, or Logan. They're rebranding some tools and they're calling them Cos Tools. These are really designed to cut foam core, but I think it's genius of them to apply these to cutting foam. So in today's episode, I'm going to experiment with these tools cutting EVA foam. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, there they are. These are the tools they sent me. Uh, we're going to start off with the hand tools first and work our way up. This one is a circle cutter, which I can't wait to play with this one, but we're going to save the best for last. First tool up is the straight bevel cutter. This tool is interesting because it's a handle, it's free handle, and uh, there's, a, of course, a 90 degree you can see right here. You can hold on flat, but you can just loosen like this and flip it like so. Tighten it back up again, and now it's a bevel cutter, which is amazing. So the cool thing in the design is, if you look right here, it says blades. So I'll pop this open, and there's a blade right inside. On the blade, it's a blade all the way, so you can be able to cut and be able to flip your blade again and get uh, twice the cutting out of it because you're only going to be using one side. I see it looks like you just unscrew it here. All right, there you go. Fantastic. Now that's in place, you can loosen the screw. It allows you to control. Okay, we're going to lock this up. Now with our bevel setting, let's free hand cut some foam with our bevel cutting. Let's make this interesting. Let's do a line like this. And let's give this a beveled cut. Let's stand on a line. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Now again, this is really tricky. Let's try some straight lines. See, that's clean. That's nice. Definitely a nice even bevel. Let's flip the other side. Flip it over. Okay, see, that's kind of cool. That's the one thing I always have a problem with. When you're cutting things with bevel, freehanded, you can make them pretty close, but you always have to go back and sand. But with a freehand, you can keep this bevel pretty consistent. And of course, we can switch this to do 90, which is cool as well, too. We can go and switch it over. Wow, perfect. Perfect 90. This here is the freestyle cutter. So the squiggly line I did earlier, I shouldn't have done it on the bevel knife. I should have done it on this. Um, again, inside the handle, you pull this back. It's got a blade. Now, as you can see, the blade... Very distinct looking blade. This blade looks good. It's a little too thin for the uh, half inch. So, so we got some six millimeter foam. This again is a free handle blade. So we're going to get a little creative with the cutting. Ooh. It's kind of hard to, I won't lie, it's a little hard to control. It cuts into the table a bit too much. There we go, a little bit better of a cut. This one's a little harder to handle. I mean, it's a, it's a bit much to hold when you're having a blade so small. And I find it's a lot easier to manipulate with an X-Acto blade. So this tool's not bad, but it doesn't really do anything. I don't think that an X-Acto blade couldn't do better. As for freehanding, you can just have so much of a better control with an X-Acto knife. See, it's just a lot easier to do. And when you have all this, it's kind of bulky. Now we have here the hole drill. Now the hole drill is a tube, very much like what I've done with the brass tubing. It has a, a base, it's adjustable. You can screw it up and down, just get the height. There's the sharp blade, it has a nice little tool to push this out and the cool thing about it is you can buy three different sizes this is the uh, you take this guy off there you go get this up comes out and then you can swap out a smaller blade bring it in twist and you can get small holes for the test run let's go ahead and do the bigger one i think you just keep going until it's flush with the blade 
and now put our foam down and let's turn ta-da look at that -hoo -hoo -hoo. clean get your little button you push boop off and you're ready to go again now the next tool we're moving on to this is the uh the straight cutter now pretty self-explanatory this pushes down it cuts but what makes this different from the freehand one we had earlier this one has a track on it it's little recesses on the bottom and you um for people out there who struggle making really straight cuts long cuts 90 degree cuts not long beveled cuts this is a rail channel rail and the cutting tool actually drops on top of this rail so it allows you to cut perfectly straight and what's another amazing thing about this tool is if you look at this on the bottom you adjust you guys get it better you can adjust the thickness so if we're cutting half inch we have it in millimeters and we have it in inches at the bottom here so we're going to cut um 10 millimeter foam which is basically half inch so i have a wheel i can adjust i don't know if you guys can see it there's a, there's a little dot back in here that moves when i adjust the wheel so i'm going to adjust it for i'm going to do it for half inch all the way to the back drop the tool on now look at that that is perfect 90 cut so along in the same lines of this tool and the rail there's another tool this is the v groove cutter i know this is crazy but check it out the blades right on the bottom to cut designed to cut grooves and if you look at the blades kind of slight one slightly overlaps the other one so you can make a perfect groove and again we're going to go ahead and set this but this time around we're not going to set it for um half inch because that would go all the way through since we have half inch foam let's adjust it to three eighths Yeah, it did. It definitely cut a groove. But as you guys can see, it started strong. And as it pulled, it got dull, 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 and got narrow toward the end. Hmm. Again, this is really soft foam. Let's use some high-quality foam. Again, we're going to try the, um, the groove cutter and the denser foam and see if we get a better cut. Wow, yes, that does make a world of difference. Now, if you can see with the denser foam, it cut better, trenches more even. So this would be great for either detail or if you want to do a bevel behind a costume, you want to bend and glue the parts together. That's pretty nice and even. But let's find out, let's try it. Let's do one more run with this. All right, round two on the cut. Pow. Nicely done. That's consistent. One more time. Let's do it. Wow. Ta-da. Look at that. That's pretty darn cool. It's nice and even. Look at that. Again, you definitely... Um, I don't know if you could freehand this this much. But let's try to see if we can just do a little bit of a curve. Probably be better if I had this. the blades were fresh. But... Let's go ahead and just get, see if I can get a little bit of a curve on this. Oop, got a little off track, sorry. That was, I must have got a little bit of a hiccup there. Oh, there it went, perfect. Ah, that worked as well. Now we're gonna move on to the ultimate tool I can't wait to test. All right, again, here it is, the circle cutter. Um, again, on the design, if you look at it, you have on this side inches, right here, on the other side is uh, millimeters. And how you adjust it, there's an opening on the side here. This allows you to open up and put a blade in, which I've already have. I got the blade loaded and ready to go. We laid down our half inch floor mat foam. Now, what we can do here is inside, here's the, uh, the measurements inside and of course that one side has inches the other one has millimeters sorry there's a screw on the other side that allows you to loosen this to adjust the diameter so that allows me when I cut this circle it'll be four inches all right 
after playing around with this, this is why you should read instructions before you start working. Uh, the foam is so thick, you start from the highest point and you cut your way down. That's why it's threaded, so it goes down gradually and cuts cleanly. And then we just work our way down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. Okay, this is the bomb. That came out perfect. Again, every time I work with a bandsaw or tracing circles, I can never get them this clean. I think I just found my favorite tool. Let's go for six inches. And how you know when it stops, the blade actually stops. You cut all the way through, you hit the bottom of the table, lift it up, and voila. Ho, ho, ho. This has always been the biggest pain in the butt for me is cutting foam circles. All right, people were asking, how small can I make a circle with this? So. I just did a really small one, and we do the same thing here. We line up. Boom! Yes, small circles as well. There it is. I wouldn't believe it—a perfect foam circle. I've struggled to get these with a bandsaw. That tool is pretty damn impressive. Again, everybody, the tools I did the reviews were great. The only tool I didn't like was the freehand cutter. That was it. I have to admit, I'm surprised how much I like these tools. I tried them out on my live stream. Everybody got to watch me experiment and stumble with them. And so far, my new love is the circle cutter. I have links for all these tools below the video. If you guys shop these links, it helps me keep making videos. This is the first time you're watching this on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. But this video is from my live stream. I do every Monday and Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, here on twitch.tv slash Smith. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. This was a blast, and I will catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live. Mm.